In this lesson, we will explore several flamenco playing techniques, first one being picado. And the picado is uh, basically disciplining pointer finger and middle finger to work almost as left-right. <laughs> so at first, we don't worry about exceptions to the rule, but we kind of learn the strict approach, which is strictly alternating the two. And without playing anything in the left hand at all, just concentrating on the right hand with open strings, we could play a group of four notes and then slip down to second string, repeat, so on. Obviously, Having heard a lot of flamenco, you know that we're going to try to speed it up as much as we can. Uh, I would start slowly, moderately. In this case, I've chosen to do what's called a rest stroke and to strike the first string and to snap the first string away and come to rest on the second string. So here I'm even bending the second string to show that my finger has relied on the second string to stop. And that's going to be used for about 90% of my picado playing. Sometimes it gets so fast, we don't even have time for that. But let's start with the rest stroke. Here's the exercise. I'm not just trying to be rhythmically perfect. I'm trying to listen for tone and produce an even tone. climb up from the lower string. Now here we're allowed to play two strings with one finger by sliding back from the fourth to the fifth. Slide, slide, slide. This is a little bit more ergonomic. Now when we actually learn real musical falsettas and patterns for the left hand, uh, we should again be loyal to our piccato technique. There are going to be some exceptions. Here we have a descending scale starting on the first string, first fret, and we begin without, with one piccato, followed by what's called a pull-off. And the rest of the notes of this particular segment are done with standard piccato. And it ends with the A open string. So again, you can hear that minor quality. When we learn something like that, of course the goal is Again, we're going to speed it up. In context, it's going to be fairly fast, but we're going to learn it slowly, note by note. And you notice this one starts with a pinch. We're pinching thumb on sixth with the first string. And we're starting with our middle finger, and then we're going to alternate. put two golpes in and a rasqueado. So it sounds complete. So when you learn piccato, also be patient about it and learn, no add one note at a time as you learn it. doing it perfectly, but again, the, the whole idea of it is to do it cumulatively, note by note, until your brain cells are kind of um, programmed with this, and you could almost play it in your sleep, just about. Okay, so from uh, 
that technique, just introducing that te technique. Keep in mind, that's piccato. Now let's go to something called arpeggio. A lot of you know that arpeggios on the piano, they might go up the keyboard or down the keyboard, and they separate all the fingers as they go. And they can be very flashy kind of technique. Same is true of the guitar. Thing is that some arpeggios are easier to play than they sound. Like this one, where you literally drag your ring finger across all the strings, like this. And that's an arpeggio, because it separates or arpeggiates all the strings. We go up and back down. So I thought I would show you that first, because it's really something you can learn in a few minutes' time. So what the chord that I'm playing, though, should be acquired. It's sixth string, second fret, and then we go to fifth string, fourth fret, fourth string, fourth fret, with these particular fingers. This is called a tarantos chord. It's a beautiful harmony. And then our thumb commences on the fourth string, four, three, two, one. Four, three, two, one. So we start with an arpeggio with separate fingers from the thumb on to the ring finger. And then our ring finger plays and plays the rest stroke on the second string. And we drag that finger across all the strings to get the full arpeggio. When an arpeggio goes up and it goes down, we call it a redoble in Spanish. It's a redoubled arpeggio. If it goes in one direction, it's just a plain old arpeggio. So here's the Tarantos arpeggio. She's with another chord. Here we can omit the first string and make it a lower very beautiful effect of the low strings. So that's a very good start with the idea of arpeggio. There are going to be many in which it uses the separate fingers instead of that dragging of one finger, such as this. because we're starting in a very moderate tempo, and of course that will speed up as time goes on. There are some arpeggios that can be played with a pure thumb. It's a little bit advanced. say it's impossible, though. Again, it's a little bit easier than it sounds. The next technique I want to show is called hammer and pull off, literally, with the left hand. You play a note, and then you hammer it to get the next note. Very interesting in flamenco, because it's combined with things like that kind of sound. It's a very rough technique, kind of. hammering and pulling off. So we strike the note first and then pull our finger away from it and get the lower note. Here's some, uh, here's some pulling off and hammering. And here different fingers are used for the pull off. combine all these effects in the left hand, we sometimes use the word legato because we're not striking it with the right hand. Our right hand is playing much less than our left hand. We call that legato. technique. 
where I'll start the legato and use my thumb as well. I like that sound. Two notes simultaneously, but not in every one. I use it sparingly, so to speak. So that's kind of an introduction to pulling off and hammering. The next technique I want to talk about is rasqueado. We've talked about that before, but this would be an advanced approach to it. One thing we can do is, of course, we're launching our fingers from behind the thumb, but we can also use our left hand to choke off the sound. It's a very flamenco th thing to achieve these silences as kind of a dramatic silence like this. And the sound just goes away and it disappears. So that's a kind of way you punctuate your accompaniment techniques. This kind of rasqueado. As it gets advanced, it can go on for a longer time. This is a three component kind of rasqueado, not using all the fingers separately. The hard part of this is going down with your thumb over all the strings. You're going up with your thumb, you're going down with fingers, and then following that with going down with your thumb is the third part of that whole pattern. You could start actually with the upstroke in the thumb, down in the fingers, down in the thumb, upstroke with thumb, speeding up slowly. Until you can make it sound like da 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 a series of triplets. going. The next thing I want to show you briefly is vibrato. The classical guitarists use this a lot. Just, it could be a little bit of a pull on the string, or it can just be like you're moving laterally from side to side like a the way you would erase something with a pencil. So I just wanted to touch base on the, on the vibrato. It can really bring out a single note. You can sometimes see the whole guitar shaking when you do vibrato. <coughs> I want to mention um, hitting the strings, it's for want of a better word, you're playing a chord like an A chord. And this is how we often play it in flamenco, with just two fingers, not the three fingers. So we can have free fingers, some freedom to choke it off, or to play an extra note. So hitting is literally, you're lifting your hand up and hitting all the strings. You might also be choking them off. Here I'm allowing my thumb actually to make contact percussively with the top of the guitar. It's a very nice sound. That was groups of three in a Bullerias kind of pattern. Uh, the next thing that we run into a lot, especially in classical music, is tremolo. <laughs> because there's a lot of material on that, I won't spend a lot of time. Flamenco tremolos can be a little bit more brash or stronger, a little less delicate than the classical ones. Here I'm starting, I'm starting with my thumb. It 
etc. Um, depends on what the piece needs to do. Sometimes the tremolo itself can be your melody. The last technique I want to show you is a little bit uh, unusual. Actually, it's the second second to last technique I want to show you. I call it quasi tremolo. <laughs> It's a really nice technique where you're doing this pinching action with the ring finger and the thumb on a single chord, following it with middle finger up. These are coming up. Then you do down up to complete the pattern. Here's the whole pattern. call it almost the forgotten technique of, s of flamenco because it's omitted in a lot of explanations and teaching of flamenco, but it can be really powerful. <laughs> Etc. There's a piece called Faruka. Hit. Fulgar. Thumb playing arpeggio. And I think that I did want to mention one more, which is playing in octaves. This can be really a relief because we play a lot of chords in flamenco. And suddenly we come up with octaves. sounds beautiful in the octave. Those kind of effects. 